Welcome to the Clear in the Air podcast with D and Q. I'm Dasher. Uh, I would have thought you'd have been Diddy, or should I say Dancer, for that uh, Diddy Ciroc. Uh, <laughs> yeah, take that, take that, bad boy, baby. Blue dot, blue, oh, well, red dot, red dot. <laughs> anyway, I'm Q. Ah. I'm Q. And we're here, as you should be able to see, to do our Christmas edition podcast. What is Christmas to you? You know, there's this song oh, Christmas you just, to me, my love. <laughs> me to me, my love. And you just going to jump right to it, bro. Yeah, let's let's talk about let's talk about your wardrobe right now. What's what's going on with this wardrobe? I like it. It's a hoodie. It's oh, on the well, front. I mean, so you know, we're gonna do the history of Christmas, you know, in in my life. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, two thousand nineteen, um, I was I was going to hang out with my dad, mom and dad in um, Delaware, and they had been telling us about this light show. Um, it's in PA, Pennsylvania. And um, I was like, man, I, I, I need an ugly Christmas sweater. But I really didn't want to do the traditional thing, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm going, I'm looking through, and I'm like, man, I don't see nothing I like. And I said, oh, the hoodie, though. It's different, you know. Um, I haven't seen nobody, you know, with anything even similar, I'm sure. There's somebody at some point, but I haven't seen it. Um, so for me, uh, yeah, man, I, I just, and I've had this one, I, I like it. Obviously, you can't wear it all the time. So it's a, it's a Christmas jump off. Um, that's it, man. I like it. It's fresh. You know, it's always I, hoodie. You no, know, it's always hoodies over everything. So, yeah. although I do love a good sweater, though, but. True, true. I had to just switch it up. We're not traditional people, bro. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the hoodie, the hoodie, look, I got a hoodie on too, so. Yeah, you, know. you got that headpiece on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, this ain't traditional either. You know, I could have went with the regular. Could have went with the Sandy Claus, Charlie. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah, nah. Switch that up. Switch that up. And Christmas time, I like to bring out a little green. So I like to bring out the green. So okay. green shirt hat, you know what I mean? I got you. I got you. I got you. So, you know, yeah, I started, you know, business oriented. But, uh, yeah, man, definitely a good thing to talk about the decor. Um, but I think, you know, like you say, you definitely got, we got, we definitely got to start off with that question because um, before we start going into stuff, and, you know, we got a lot of things we want to talk about today. But, um, oh, yeah, I, I see your wrist too, but I, I guess we'll get to that later. We'll get to that later. We'll get to that later. <laughs> yeah. That yeah, was not okay. a plug. It was not a plug. <laughs> but, um, well, speaking of, uh, we won't go there, but speaking of, you know, hoodies and stuff, I mean, man, listen, hey, yeah, there yeah, might be yeah, something yeah. to talk about a little well, later say, on. You, you prophesying per usual? Uh, might be a little something we can look into. I mean, it is yeah, hoodie season. Yeah. Hey, bro, it's coming yeah. down the pipe. It's coming. It's coming, baby. It's hoodie season. Nah. Yeah. But, uh, but, you know, <clears throat> On a serious note, you know, um, you know, this is holidays. It's officially the holiday season. Correct. Um, you know, uh, kind of, it's it's tough when you start talking about the holidays, man, because it's a lot to talk about, especially you know in the climate, the current climate that we're in, um, just in the world with everything. So, I guess that's a way to kind of bring in that question, you know, with everything that's going on, it puts things into perspective. Um, how important is Christmas to you? Like, what does it mean to you? And why is it, you know, if it's a big deal, why is it, does it mean anything to you? <clears throat> um, yeah, man, Christmas is definitely uh, huge for me. It's my favorite holiday. Um, obviously, first and foremost, the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So that's first and foremost. Um, Secondly, I think it's, it's just a wonderful time to, you know, just be with family, that fellowship, bro. Uh, it's kind of similar to Thanksgiving, how we talk. Um, you know, Thanksgiving, you know, fellowship, food, football. <clears throat> Christmas kind of the same, you know, a fellowship, family, basketball. 
Um, oh, by the way, NFL, y'all whack this year for having NFL games on Christmas. That's that's terrible, yo. Terrible. You know what I'm saying? Like football, NFL, Thanksgiving is y'all's. NBA is Christmas. Like, chill out, NFL. And NBA, y'all know what to do. Next Thanksgiving, y'all need to have a couple games on. Because if they want to infiltrate December 25th, y'all need to infiltrate Thanksgiving Thursday. But anyway, tighten up NFL. Um, but yeah, man, just to get up and, uh, you know, watch sports or watch Christmas movies. Uh, one thing I love about Christmas, I love how it has changed for me over the years. You know, younger, it's all about the gifts and, you know, giving your parents your Christmas list and stuff and not being able to go to sleep the night before and then waking up, running downstairs, opening the Christmas gifts. And now, you know, as we've gotten older, you know, it's just all about family. I, I can care less about getting a gift. I still love to give gifts, but I can care less about receiving them. Um, it's just really all about being around family and having a good time. So that's another reason why I love Christmas, because I love how it has evolved for me over the years. So, uh, For me, man, one of the things I like is just um, I like how you, know, you kind of go through the transition of we just did the Thanksgiving podcast. Right. So one of the things I love about it is that it's just like the holiday season. So mm -hmm. you literally go from Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. transition into the Christmas season. Um, and then, you know, shoot, you could take the New Year's too. So it's like, it's, it's a time to look forward to, you know, even if you don't celebrate Christmas for the reasons that, you know, has been mentioned or that is typical, um, just to be able to say like, it's the end of the year and you can take time off work. Yeah. Just kind of relax as a way to kind of bring in the new year. Uh, you know, just so, you know, that's one thing that, you know, really stands out for me. Mm -hmm. um, Christmas is important, I mean, for the same reasons that you mentioned, family. Um, I think for me, uh, it's just a big deal um, just because it's, it's, it's time that is just really your time. You know what I mean? Um, you know, just kind of the history with this. You know, that was a little bit before the holidays, but it was a, a little bit before Christmas, but it was during the holidays. So, you know, that just kind of, I don't know, man, it's just, it's just, it's just family time. You just think about there's no interruptions. You're not thinking about work. Um, you know, you're just thinking about that cultivated time with your people. Right. Um, which is, which is everything, especially, in, like I said, the, the climate that we're in. So, um, and I think just like you said, most important um, is the is the the, the, the Christ birth. You know, whether mm -hmm. we agree, whether we agree that that's the actual day or not, um, right? You know, it doesn't matter to me because my thing is I'm celebrating his birth whenever, it was. whenever it was correct. You know, so um, you know that's that's how that goes for me. So right, you know, very important um, time. One one thing you said that I agree with too. I think it's one of the reasons why I love Christmas because it's like. Soon as Thanksgiving come up, soon as it's over, you rolling right into it, bro. So you got the decorations and the, the carols and the shopping and you know what I mean? Like it's like that season just starts immediately. Soon as right. you know, it gives you something to look forward to soon as Thanksgiving is over with. And then you got New Year's after that. Right. So um right. yeah, I, I definitely can concur with you on that. So you just mentioned decorations. You 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 decorate? I... <laughs> <laughs> you talking about currently or all right so growing up um my, my parents and i yeah we always decorated uh they decorate they crib uh now um although they kind of did a little light this year uh, i want to say maybe a couple years ago i was like man i want to decorate my house so i actually did it um wasn't too overboard but you know it was nice a couple lights outside a couple reefs um couple lights over the fireplace stuff like that um this year it just it snuck up on me bro so i just got you know a couple reefs on the door and that's about it bro i, I can't even lie it's like <laughs> i looked up and it was middle of december i ain't had nathan up there so yeah I, I put i do got a little something what about you um for me i know we don't typically do too much. Um, we were just talking about this last week. Uh, my wife was talking about how 
um, you know, like her, my, my, my father-in-law, like how he used to really, um, he used to really do, um, See, that's that fair. We see we keep it we keep it a hundred, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was that was her, by the way. <laughs> yeah. But um yeah, no, she 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 was talking about how um who was she talking about? Oh, she was talking about how growing up, like my my father in law, like he's right now we go we drive by the crib, the lights is mm -hmm. up, you know, everything. Um, but like how that's what she was used to, but she doesn't do it. You know what I mean? Right. Um, and I have I I never was really we never really did much. Um, I kind of like how we do things. We keep it chill. Like it's more again, like the intimate stuff. Now, don't get it twisted. Like I like, I like to see it. Like where I live at, there's a couple people who have a few things that I think is really dope. Mm -hmm. I just, I'm not trying to run up my electricity bill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, you know, the 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 effort that you put into it. Like I've never done it, so it's a little intimidating to have so much stuff up to do it the right way. Just imagine you don't do it you do it wrong and it, you, it doesn't look good like and then you spend right. so much time like i nah uh but I, are you talking more so outside or indoor well that's 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 outside now what i do okay. like that my wife does uh, well for me i got a i think i got a wreath two years ago but then i got up i upgraded the joint and so that's on the front door and i think that's been out like right after thanksgiving mm -hmm. but the so like my wife has these little um like so we've got like a little entertainment system underneath our TV that hangs up on the wall in the living room upstairs. Uh -huh. And it has like um it's kinda like kind of garland and garland ish type right. you know stuff. And that's there. And then she'll do like, you know, the green candles on the side of the joint. So, you know, stuff like that. And then holiday cards that we get, you know, when you're coming up. We have tower right. house that shit coming up, like on the right. ledge. Just little stuff right. like that, you know. What I mean, gifts of different things, you know, stock right. and stuff. Is, so right. like, it's more we do more of the intimate, internal, in-house type decorations and stuff that somebody might not be able to see from the outside. Right, right. I, I agree. Um, I uh, the past few years, my inside was way more than the outside, so, and and I'm fine with that. I don't need to the you know the big spectacle house although i do like them uh, i've actually been and this this season i've done like a few tacky light tours and uh, been to a few like amusement parks and stuff like uh i've been kind of in in the season this year <laughs> mm -hmm. so and and that's that's always cool that's another thing i like about the season you know you can go see tacky lights you know you you always got a holiday party you can wear some ugly sweaters or stuff like mm -hmm. that so mm -hmm. so that's just another aspect of the christmas season that i really love well yo let me ask you since you went there like you know have you done anything this season so far like that um <clears throat> you mean like the tacky joints or the amusement oh, yeah, parks like, yeah like any of that stuff yeah 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 so um the tacky joints i've actually done too um, they were pretty dope. I didn't even know it was that many in this area. And so it was cool to just drive around and see, you know, maybe streets that you pass by often, but then you go in these little nooks and crannies, these neighborhoods that you might never turn into. And the house is crazy. You know what I mean? Exactly. I seen, right. I seen one joint. It was two houses side by side. And apparently they neighbors and they do it every year. And it's like a, a big thing. Apparently, I think they had done it since like 1970s. I want to say yeah and i think yeah. this year is, is the last year because i think one of them is selling a house or something so well, that was cool um went to a couple of amusement parks always dope to see that you know how they transform the whole park into like christmas towns and stuff like that <clears throat> excuse me so that's cool um, I actually went to a really dope one in D.C. Uh, over at the uh, baseball stadium. That was fire. How they oh, turned passion. that. Yeah, yeah. How they turned that into, like, you're literally on the field, and it's like this maze full of, like, lights. Mm. And, uh, you know, like, big figuring, you know, like, big, like, sculptures and stuff. Um, funny story. Um <clears throat> They have, it's like this huge diamond ring, well, like a huge ring. 
And obviously in the middle of the ring, it's open. It's a circle. So you can stand under there and take pictures, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. So we go take a picture and uh, the people behind us in line uh, take our picture. So, you know, you always return the favor. You know, would you like us to take your picture? Whatever, blah, blah, blah. Y'all heard like, say take our picture, right? Well, go ahead. I'm sorry. I, why? Why? Is this what we doing? <laughs> but anyway, so uh, he was like, nah, my brother's right here. He'll take it for us. He was like, all right, okay, cool. So we was walking out. We was like, yo, let me be kind of, you know, interesting if a proposal actually happened right there. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? We was just like, you know, what it, you know, you think it'd be dope. You think it'd be kind of corny, whatever. Mm-hmm. So we start walking off, bro. All of a sudden, we hear people like cheering and yelling, congratulations, bro. The same dude that just proposed to his <laughs> fiance right there, the one who took our pictures. And mm-hmm. his brother was there and their family was there. And she was so surprised. And so I actually got right over there, was able to take a video. I actually sent them the video. So, That's extremely dope. yeah, that was cool, man. That's a That was a really uh, dope experience. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. See, see, so for me, I haven't, um, I think the last time I did any of kind of like that type of stuff um, was man, like some years ago. You know how you can get in the car and just drive through. I think Columbia has something. Right, 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 right. Like, like stay in, your, stay in your car. Like yeah, yeah drive through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I did that some time ago. It's for the kids, but um, then I did. Um, well, I didn't do anything. This is when I was doing Uber. I picked somebody up from the zoo in D.C. and they were John on uh, Connecticut. John on Connecticut in Cleveland Park area. They, um, it was so crazy, bro, getting in and out of there. But they had a situation. It was, it was, you could see that joint. Like, it was, it was legit from where you were. Um, so it was just cool, man. It's just, I, I think, you know, like I say, you know, people can say a lot of different things. I think, you know, people say, oh, you know, you know, just because we say, if we say Christ, but then, you know, people say, oh, you know, you're doing that pagan stuff. And it's like, you know, sometimes it's not even about that, but, you're doing things with family. Like there's right. nothing wrong with doing things with family. Even when we talk about gifts, you know, like that's, I give my, I give gifts to my wife. Right. I give gifts to my kids. I take care of them year round. Right. I don't just wait right. till Christmas. Right. Bro, you know? it's, it's, you don't, we have a mother's day, but we, we love and, and do for our mothers 365, but we still got that day for them. Same with our fathers. We got a Father's Day. Like, why I'm trying to hate on Christmas, bro? I get out of here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, if, if whether if you believe or not, you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, or if you want to buy gifts for your kids or not, man, don't don't ruin the, the joy of the day and the season, man. Just you know, enjoy. We man, the way the world is right now, we need more love. We need more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. That's, we want our kids to be happy. You know what I mean? Now, I don't go broke doing it. <laughs> you right. know what I'm saying? Wisdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use Men wisdom. use wisdom, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, we, you know, you know, we, we, we need these happy times right now. And we know it's a time where, like, you know, some people holidays are tough because they've experienced the loss of things like that. So, if you have a, a opportunity to <clears throat> shed some light. And, and be a, a source of happiness for somebody, man, do that, man. I mean, yeah. you, know, you know, don't hate on Christmas. Yeah. I think um, given that we're talking about, you know, the kind of the climate of the things, you know, we'd be remiss to not say, like, you know, has it been different in these, in these you know, in the past few years as opposed to how it's been, you know, uh, you know, before COVID? Um, so what? This will be our second one, yeah. right? So last year, um, it was kind of like Thanksgiving. I was just at my parents' my parents' house, and I was on my wing of the house upstairs, and they downstairs, and, <clears throat> you know, I yelled downstairs first of all, I'm coming downstairs so they could not be in the kitchen 
<laughs> we got our mask on and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so it's probably, I don't plan on going anywhere this year. I'm not sure, you know, especially with the uptick in COVID cases going on. So I'm probably going to lay low again. Um, so it might be some of the same, but, you know, got up early. They had breakfast ready. Uh, you know, that first NFL, NFL, see? Oh, Jesus. That first NBA game <laughs> is at noon. And it's normally my Knicks. We back this year, baby. It's my Knicks at noon. So I know we it's the Hawks. Mm -hmm. The Hawks. I need Trey to chill out. I need Ice Trey to chill all the way out. Nah, he's going to be icy. <laughs> nah, I need him. Nah, but I need, don't have yeah, me. Yeah, you do need him to chill out. You need him to chill out. <laughs> I need him not to have me being Scrooge on Christmas, bro. So, but yeah, we start that game started noon. So I'm normally watching that. Um, you know, we'll come around maybe like late afternoon, early evening, meet up in the uh, family room, open gifts, and uh, you know, maybe have dinner. And then uh, you know, it's 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 back to doing whatever. They downstairs watching something. I'm upstairs watching something, and that's that's pretty much kind of the day for me, brother. Yeah. Um. So I'm going to answer that, and then I wanted to mention something else, too. Because um, I know if, yours is different, yeah. Well, it's, 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 it's different for me just primarily because we would go to my dad's house in Delaware, and um, it's just been a little different. Like, you know, I have grandparents in the 80s, mm -hmm. and so, you know, it's just, just precaution mm -hmm. that, that we've taken it. Mm -hmm. um, I know last year in the pandemic, we ended up going to Delaware, which is only like an hour for me, less than that. But we ended up going up there, and um, it really just turned into like, you know, the parking lot. No, not the parking lot, the driveway exchange. You know, I go, I drop the gifts off. Yeah, them, yeah, 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 yeah. And they do the same. So it just, and he's got a long driveway. So it's, you know, you could park. <laughs> Yeah. couple cars. Yeah, he got that doctor driveway. That's what he got. <laughs> <laughs> he got that money driveway. That's what he got. You could call it that. But, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what we going to call it. Because <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, that's you what know, it's it a, is. It's just, little, it's just little stuff like that, you know, that you try to adjust to. Um, but, you know, what I was thinking, you know, since we were saying how it's, how it's changed. Well, we'll talk about that in a minute. We'll talk about that in a minute. So, right. I do want to say I did um last year we did drop drop some gifts off as well. Mm. You know, did the little little drop off joint to my godmother, and I want to say somebody else, and I think some people from our church dropped off gifts at their house. Mm. So yeah, gotcha. Um, so this is. You know, it, it, I think that's another thing, too. Like, it makes you, every holiday season, not that you're trying to compare, but, you know, when you sit there and reflect life, you, you know, that's another thing that's that's a good thing about this time of year because it's the end of the year, so it's kind of like reflection time. So, <clears throat> you know, is there any, when you reflect back, are there any memorable Christmases um, or, or, you know, this is kind of, a, I guess you can call it a two-part question, but like, you know, memorable Christmases, uh, you know, and if there's not a one in particular, like what is it that you really kind of enjoy most about Christmas that would make any of them memorable? Um, I, I think there's there's been a couple. There's been a few. Um, growing up, I remember one Christmas, I remember when I got my first pair of $100 sneakers. And that was memorable memorable because at the time, you know, well, $100, they wasn't 220 like they are now. But back then, you know, that was like the, you know, and so, and it wasn't necessarily about the price, but it was just the fact that, you know, I, I think it was my godmother. I'm not even sure it was my parents, but, you know, you just, I just remember that, you know what I'm saying? That, that's probably when my love of sneakers probably started. I remember the, the pair was, these flights. I remember everything, the color, everything. So mm -hmm. I remember that. I remember one year. <laughs> one year, I don't know why. 
And I don't know if my parents were joking or it might have been true, but they was like, we broke this year. We can't really do nothing, blah, blah, blah. And me being a kid and not knowing no better, I was like, well, can't y'all just write a check? <laughs> Again, not knowing the system of, you know, a check, you got to have the money in the bank. You know what I'm saying? Or it's just going to bounce. But you know me as a kid, you just see your parents writing checks. You just think, okay, so if you don't have money, this is another way you can get what you can get. So I, I definitely remember that. And, you know, they, they I, you know, <clears throat> shout out to them because they always made a way. I don't know if we were really broke or not, but they made a way. I had a great Christmas. <clears throat> That'd be a and dope I'm, conversation for you to have with them, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? I might do that. I might do that on Christmas. Um, that'd be a nice little family time activity. Um, I remember one year, for some reason, we were all in Toys R Us together. I, don't, I think they was Christmas shopping for me. I don't know why I was with them. I'm not sure. But I, re <laughs> I remember my mom got on this skateboard. We stayed by getting a skateboard. My mom got on the skateboard. I'm not going to say what happened. All I know is I didn't get the skateboard. And my mother never got on the skateboard again. Mm -hmm. So that's all I'm going to say with that. So <laughs> I never got the skateboard, bro. And I don't think my mother ever got on one again. I just remember that mm -hmm. aisle. The, <laughs> don't mention that right. when you had a conversation. Nah, 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 nah. I won't mention that, although it's going to be in the atmosphere now. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. Um, now, uh, some of the most recent joints, um, I like going down. I remember a memorable joint when I went to Atlanta. I had family down there. I got my brother from another down there. He has two daughters who are my goddaughters. And so I really loved going down there. Um, obviously, this was pre-COVID. And it was a few years where I alternated one year I would go Thanksgiving, one year I would go Christmas. Mm -hmm. And I remember one Christmas year just to see the excitement on their face when they woke up that morning and saw their gifts. And, um, you know, it was, it was, I remember that, but that was just a fun time because I stayed there. Then I remember going to my family's house later that afternoon and evening and seeing my family. So. That was definitely um, a memorable one for me recently and, you know, growing up. Mm. How about you? I guess to give, you know, a little bit more context. Uh, you know, I've, I've remarried, you know, um, mm -hmm. second marriage. So, you know, just I'm in a different space than what I was before. Uh, this is not shade by any means, but... Um, I don't know if it's, the, you know, the second time doing it and just, you know, really realizing the importance of family. Not that I didn't before, um, but I'll just, you know, shout out to my wife because, you know, um, I inherited four children. Mm -hmm. And just the role that I play in their lives um, affords me to be very grateful. Mm -hmm. I, and obviously you know, the one child I offer, but it's just, it's just different times, bro. And it's one of those things where, you know, my wife is such a giver that just seeing how like her, and this is how, again, it's not a Christmas. It, 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 it's, it's, maybe you say it's more special because it's Christmas, but she's, you know, there's not anything that, you know, these kids ask for that she's not trying to do. Three, mm -hmm. six, five. Mm -hmm. and so, you know, just seeing, you know, her come to me, like, okay, this is what, you know, has been requested, asked for, let's mm -hmm. look at, let's look and see what we could do. And I guess if my wife wasn't just a giving person all, all around, maybe it could be looked at differently. But for me, um, just who she is makes Christmas different. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I so, you know, we've been together for five, six years now, um, and you can kind of see, I don't know if progression is the right word, but, you know, um, I remember, you know, going from 
her sister's basement to the townhouse we rented to where we are now. Mm -hmm. And at each point, it was it was it had its it had its significant meaning. You know, um, anytime you're going with somebody, it's 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 important. So all of those are really because you look at where you again end of the year you reflect in that that, that thing. So. Um, you know, and then, you know, again, for me, it's just that time with family, man. It's what you enjoy about it the most. That's that's right. what makes it memorable. So, right, right. Um, uh, so, I'm going to try to throw some trivia in there. And nah, it's not, okay. nah, <laughs> nah, it's not, it's not right. really, it's not really trivia, but it's kind of putting you on the spot. Um, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. So, so here we go. Right. Let's see. All right. So, right. um, favorite Christmas movie? Come on, bro. Oh man. Um, who? Die Hard. <laughs> John McClane. Die Hard. Let's go. Die Hard, a Christmas movie. Come on, it's bro. Not, it's not considered as one, but I'm, I'm put it saying in there. he got picked up in the limo, headed to the Christmas party. It's Christmas time, man. Hollis Queen, my chicken, and collard greens is in the limo. You know what I'm saying? John McClane. I ain't gonna deny it. I ain't gonna deny it. It's one of my one of my favorite like series. I can say. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Um, but honestly, um, Home Alone is classic. Home Alone is classic. true. Um, that's man holiday. That was Christmas, right? Wasn't that Christmas time? That was, good. Never, yeah. that was Christmas time. I just watched that like two weeks ago on a flight. Okay. That's definitely oh, on a flight. Oh, shut up, man. Well, on a flight. I'm just uh, saying that because that's where I remember, again, you know. Yeah, like you was on a flight. I like hopping, but okay. That's why you uh, <laughs> uh, Yeah, best man holiday. Uh, What's the, the 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 breezy joint and Lauren London? Oh, this Christmas, right? This Christmas, I think right? So. I yeah, think so. I watched that not too long ago. That's fine. Of course, group breezy two up, two down. Mm. L O O O O O O O. Is it almost Christmas? What's my joint with Carrie? Oh, Miss Carrie, baby. Uh, what, is Father that joint with Danny Glover in there? That's Glover, JB Smooth. Is it almost Christmas? I think DC Young Fly in it. Yeah. Come on, bro. Yeah, yeah. Let me see. Let me let me see. I think so. I think so. It's almost Christmas. Yeah, that's uh -huh. 2016. Yeah, yeah. I actually didn't see it until like was it two last year? Maybe ago. last year, like two years ago. I seen that joint. Yeah. Yeah. But you know anything hey. but oof. <laughs> had to. <laughs> and this one has one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> Literally and figuratively. I'm on so, swipe left. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm gonna say them joints, man. Obviously, Home Alone classic. That's my holiday. Both the Christmases. Um, uh, what I said. Oh, Die Hard. Stop fronting. Okay. Um, that's your possible right there? Yeah, that's my possible. So what's that? Bow and a possible. All right. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, don't be trying to... Nah, I was about to say, don't think you're not answering these, bro. You ain't putting me on the spot and not answering these jokes. I got you. Um, whole time I'm trying to think why you was talking. See, that's not fair because you had me go first so you could be in thought, but that's okay. And look, it ain't helped me not one bit. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna throw out a possible, and my possible will be boomerang. Um, uh, like, <laughs> look, mind you, mind you, you you know where boomerang stand with us, so we not gonna even play. But that's another. Why podcast. do you? Why yes, and it will be. But why do you? Where are you associating that with Christmas? At unless I'm mistaken. I want to say that I feel like 
okay, I okay. So he was with Bob and Givens. Okay. And I thought that after he signed the deal with the French dudes and they was trying to kiss on him when they yeah, were walking like, oh, through that. Like, oh. <laughs> Le peace. Le peace. <laughs> Le peace. <laughs> you yeah. gotta stop, yo. <laughs> yo, nah, bro. Doc, I really feel like it because look, just now I'm just thinking about multiple different. I don't, it never was like Die Hard. Well, maybe Die Hard had a little bit of Christmas, but so Doc, I, they had a Christmas oh, part. Oh. Okay, I, I, I. I'll just say, you, I, 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 I. We're gonna I, leave your Die Hard alone. I that's one of my favorite of movies, that. period. But that's, let's leave that alone. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm on this boomerang. Come on. So, 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 matter of fact, wasn't Chris Rock wearing when he had this, the hat to the side? Wasn't that a Christmas hat? Uh, so, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, hold on. So, which, so, which part? When he was looking at the mail the, through the joint? Or when he was like, first he the was bad boys the break car. up? And now it is. <laughs> one of those, one of those. But I, I feel like it was around that time matter of fact oh when they that, was betting on how long it's gonna take marcus to 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 get robin Givens. no so that's see listen you know what we're gonna have to keep it moving we're just gonna leave this as a possible what? and we're gonna okay. keep going I, but, I, look, look, I just want to know what's the time to book because listen listen you know our love for boomerang I could be like, what's your favorite pair of sneakers? And you could say, boy, I'd be like, all right, well, they was wearing sneakers. The shoe right. Nike. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, yo, yeah. what's your favorite island to go? You'd be like, boy, I'd be like, oh, yeah, they was going to take a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you, you can say boomerang. You coordinate. <laughs> boomerang so, could be right, one of your right. favorite anything. All right, listen, so don't say nothing. I'm going to run through all what right. I'm trying to remember. All right. So in the beginning, when he gave the people the twenty dollars for the leash. I don't know why I feel like that was ice skating around there for some reason. Maybe I'm tripping. Okay. All right. Hold on. I think I'm tripping on that one. So here. But I feel like that. All right. So then there was a point in the movie after him and David uh Eddie Murphy and David and David Allen Greer made up, you know, after they got over Holly Berry, the tree it looked like I don't know if it was a tree or something that lit up. Okay, go back to the party that they had. With Robin Givens, all of them was there. I don't know why I feel like I saw some Christmas trees in the back. Um, what else? Yeah, Chris Rock with the with the hat, the joint that was to the side. It was like looked like a Christmas hat. Like so, I, it just was the traditional. I, okay, so maybe I'm bugging. Just another reason to go watch the movie during the holidays. So there we go. All right. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna need some clarity, and it's crazy. Clarity. Many times as we've seen that joint, and we so like undecided on if it's if them joints really had them Chris, Christmas undertones in it. So, so we're gonna watch say, it. We're gonna revisit this. We're gonna watch the movie. We're gonna uh -huh. watch the movie. Um, so okay. I, I, I would say Home Alone is, is definitely a classic. Um, Best Man Holiday, man. That 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 situation really. You look at that story. That story was just really that growth, know. that growth, and then the, yeah. you know the yeah. <clears throat> the well, I'm for the people that say you know the the ending and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so just so many different intricate parts that that just tied together. Um, mm -hmm. man, I'm I'm a Charlie Brown fan, so I'm going with um, uh, I'm going with the, the Charlie Brown Christmas bro. Right. Um, do you like that joint? What's that joint that come on like 24 hours straight during Christmas? <clears throat> What's that joint? Come on, bro. Charlie Brown. It, I don't know if it's the Charlie Brown. Is it like a Christmas story or Christmas Carol or a Christmas story? You talking about when a little boy put his tongue out on the uh at the school and got his tongue stuck on a joint? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> I radio guess. radio flyer when he wanted to okay. he wanted the he wanted the, 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 gun, wagon. the BB gun the wagon oh yeah. the, the wagon and then okay. he wanted the BB gun too uh, and then when the father had the lamp that had the I think that's the movie you're talking about I I just know it come on for twenty four straight hours 
The same movie? The same joint. It, it comes on for 24 straight hours. Yeah. For as long as I can remember. Yeah, for as long as I, I can remember. Beat the networks or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, it comes 24. You look on the the, uh, the preview guide. <laughs> that joint is 24 straight. It's the whole, whole line across. But I'm going to tell you this, too. Um, something that I like doing actually with my wife, like between Hulu, Peacock, um, Prime, Netflix, like we'll literally sit. Uh, we just did it last night. Like we'll literally sit and we do it like literally right after Thanksgiving and half of the movies are terrible. But we'll sit through them and just watch them. A lot of times it's romance, holiday Christmas movies. Oh, okay. Like some Hallmark joints? Uh, it might be Hallmark, but again, it might be it might be like any, on any of those channels, and sometimes they whack, but we sit through them because that's kind of like it's become our thing. Ah, uh, y'all thing. Yeah, yeah, that's dope. You know that's I mean? dope, they, bro. Yeah, <clears throat> it's dope to be cheesy together. Watch cheesy stuff. Okay, yeah, my last name. Might as well. Yeah, I ain't mad at you, player. Hope to be there one day, my brother. And most importantly, it's time. Again, it's that that family time. So right, right. Um, you um. I, I, we talked about this before, how, you know, like, we both like Home Alone, and it's a classic Christmas movie, but when you think about it, like, this, the severity of it, if you take the, the, the comedy part out of it, like... <laughs> Father oh didn't want to go to the house. Yeah, homeboy at Home Alone with two thieves, and he got to hold it down. And, in New York. And, and, what it now? Nah, nah, part two was in New York. They lived in I'm like, what Chicago, Chicago. 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 Yeah, they lived in Chicago. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now nah, you man. you straight, but uh, the fact that as parents, you Even forgot worse. one of your kids. Yeah, you forgot one of your kids. And, <laughs> so and they couldn't get back to him. So yeah, crazy. yeah. Oh man, shout out John Candy. Rest in peace. Yeah, John Candy. Rest in peace. Yeah, when she was uh, what they was. But she couldn't get a rental or, or something. They were yeah. driving. And they had crazy. a truck or something. <laughs> yeah, like a van or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Maybe so we got way. some more. We got some more coming from All right, you. all right, um, all right. Favorite Christmas song or songs? Uh, uh, uh. Gospel or secular? Or the both? Mix. Or one? Okay. Yeah, do both. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, gospel joint. I mean, I like the old Christmas carols. Um, you know, Silent Night, um, Go Tell It on the Mountain, Oh Come All Ye Faithful. You know, I, I love all them joints. Um, I remember growing up in church like that, maybe a Sunday or two before Christmas, you know, the praise and worship part, we would sing a lot of Christmas carols. Uh, so I remember that growing up. That was always a, a fra favorite time. Um, secular. Uh, I mentioned it already the one DMC joint, Christmas at Hollis. That's a classic. Um, <clears throat> I, I'd be remiss if I don't say the the boys to men joint. That let it, yeah, son. That let it snow. Let it let it snow. snow. <laughs> that joint classic gotta keep that on repeat um bro i totally i ain't forget but i hadn't heard a while i heard it the other week the johnny gill joint on christmas day, day. <laughs> give it love, give it love. <laughs> <Shout> out dc <laughs> Oh, Christmas Day. Nah, he was 16, sound like a grown man. <laughs> that joint. Uh, yeah. No, I'm not saying Mariah. Get out of here. Although it's a classic, I ain't going to act like it's not a, I'm, I'm not going to act like it's not a classic, but yeah, y'all get y'all that. And I know we got several uh, supporters who are huge Mariah Carey fans, so we probably not going to like that part, but you're gonna get yeah. beat up because I won't. So, yeah, um, all I want for Christmas is for you to be quiet. <laughs> nah, the joke, nah, I'm just playing, Mariah. Song is a classic. Song is a classic. Not necessarily one of my favorites, but it's a classic. I know when I hear it, it's officially Christmas season. season. Yeah, so that, right. uh, I just a little joints here and there. I remember Snoop had the joint, 
when Nate Dog, uh, I think Santa Claus goes to the guy to that joint. My dip set Christmas, that's right. Dipset Christmas, they had the album. Why would he even mention Dipset after Why? that terrible defeat? I was looking at the versus joint, the clips on YouTube. Why? We ain't, we ain't talking about that right now. Dipset. We need to talk about that. <laughs> defeat, not Dipset. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. So, yeah, man. Uh, uh, yeah, but I, I would say the, the boys to men. A Johnny Gang joint is fresh. Yeah. I know I'm forgetting some, but. <clears throat> yeah, I did catch you off guard. Yeah, 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 you did. You did. Well, I, I mean, just to kind of get myself rolling, you, st you, you started off with the Gospels. Um, so for me, um, Kirk Franklin, man, like back in the day, he did a joint, and it was two cuts on there. Oh, come all you faithful, because it, it was like a remix. It wasn't done the normal way. <clears throat> so it, it was hot. Um, and then the bang on it was Now Behold the Lamb. Mm. Um, that had yeah. Tamla Man. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So that joint was a banger. Um, I guess I'd be remiss to not mention my favorite. Um, um, Oh, Charlie Brown, Christmas time is here. Right. So right. that joint is 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 I don't, it's it's childish, but it's <laughs> but it's 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 so Charlie Brown. So I just I I can't I I just I love that joint. Right. Right. Um, right. 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 Alexander O'Neill. I got this on. I don't have a lot of music on my iPhone, but this is on there. Um, um, my gift to you. Okay. He's another. He's another one. One of the strong voices like Johnny Gill. And he's from Minnesota, so it's a little different. Okay. Um, you mentioned it, boys. The men let us know that Johnny's just so smooth. Uh, right. Um, and then I guess if I'm closing out, same thing, bro. Like I, I get tired of hearing it, and but you gotta put the Mariah I carry all up. Uh, Christmas joint. Uh, I get so tired of hearing it, <laughs> but. But it's one of them joints where the reason you hear it because it's like the ultimate theme yeah. Christmas song. Yeah. Oh, and I and I can't. I sent this to you like two weeks ago. It was a Faith Evans song. I didn't even realize mm -hmm. she had a whole. She had a whole. A lot of people had a like, had whole albums, mm -hmm. but it was a joint. Again, it was just more or less on that R and B. So it was off the path. It wasn't like your normal songs mm -hmm. that we're talking about. So it was dope. Mm -hmm. uh, I have to get that song because I need to bump that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah, you send me that though. You, and you know, we both love Faith, so right. my favorite. Oh, one more kind of like, you know, catch you in the moment type question. Um, snow or no snow, son? You said snow for Christmas? No, snow or snow. No snow. Uh, bro, it's been so long. It's, it's, it's December now, it's been 60. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't mind it, bro. I th I think when you think of like the the perfect Christmas, it's, it's kind of snow outside. You know what I'm saying? Have that one white Christmas, snow fights, uh, making snowmen. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Now it depends on where I'm at. If I'm up north, then nah, because nah, they snow different up there, bro. And you know, being from Boston. Me from Jersey, but mm, we done got stuck up there. Be there till, till the they cancel Christmas. <laughs> yeah, till they, <laughs> they cancel Christmas. Hey, look, literally, right? Right. You yeah. know what? That what you just said reminded me. Um, even though it wasn't Christmas, so like my wife's birthday, so we were talking about a flight. Right. My wife and I got a dodge for her birthday. Um, but her her birthday is like it's the fourteenth, so. Um, if I had to, even though it wasn't the exact day, I had to go back to this and talk about most memorable. It was probably um, last year. Actually, you know what? Yeah, man, I think I'm, I'm glad I remember this. I'm going to be quick. Um, so Take last your time, year, brother. Last year, she, um, you know, we did something different. We went to a, a cabin um, like in mm. Western, Western mm. Maryland. And so mm -hmm. we, went to, we went to that cabin. Um, mm -hmm turns out, um, we had all 
we, we didn't have all five of the kids. The oldest, you know, he was of legal age, so he did his own thing, wasn't able to come. But the four younger ones, um, 18, 16, 10, 8, they came um, with their girlfriends. And it was just real cool, man, because, again, family time. Um, we got a chance to really kind of reflect on the year, um, some milestones that they had hit spiritually, um, academically, um, professionally for my wife and I. Like, we, we got a chance to really, like, digest things. Um, I was cooking my face off out there. Um, some stuff that I still... Uh, some stuff that I actually still cook now. So since you want to try to play me like that, um, my wife, again, is asking me to do baked ziti for Christmas this weekend. So, um, you know, that's been, I don't do it all the time. I, I might do it once a quarter, you know, just to keep it fresh. <laughs> I like that, a quarter. Once a quarter, just to keep it fresh so that, you know, you're not doing stuff. It's like, all right, we don't have it. Yeah, yeah. Um, moms, moms always cook lasagna for Christmas. so Which is right there. Right, right. The same same family. family, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had to go back to that, man, because it just made me think, you know, um, something you said that made me think about it. Um, well, the snow yeah. and different things. So we was having snowball fights and actually um, did a photo shoot for my wife. So, yo, one second, one second, one second. This podcast is sponsored by J. Kennedy Photos, J. Kennedy uh, Photography. Uh, you can find him uh, on Instagram, J. Kennedy Photos 82. So on Instagram, uh, definitely will ask that you, uh, if you're looking to do portraits, if you're looking to do um, even any type of uh, career professional situations, uh, branding. Um, that's going to be your photographer in the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area. Yeah, he's dope. All right. So um, I'm going to go with snow, too. Um, okay. Even in what I do, where I'm probably still required to be at work during those times. Yeah. I would say, I, you know, I, I would say I'm, I'm still cool with it. Um, I remember it snowed crazy back in 2010. I believe it was like back to back, like two weeks, crazy snowstorms. Me driving down to DC <clears throat> on a block of ice with just like, you know, literally like, you know, my tires in between the block of ice. It was crazy, but I ended up staying down there for like two days with my staff. We would, you know, do our thing, <clears throat> hit the hotel room. So we did it in shifts. Uh, so I'm still going with snow just because. It just looks, it just gives you that Christmas feel. Yeah. Sometimes sometimes stuff is just about the feels, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So speaking of the feels, man, uh, you know, I know you mentioned, excuse me, I know you mentioned what you have done. Are you doing the same thing for Christmas this year? Yeah, man, that's the plan. Uh, well, I don't have a plan as of yet. So the plan right now, especially with the, the cases going back up, just do what I did last year, just kind of. Spend the time with the family. Keep it local. Best. So, uh, yeah. Oh. Same yep. here, bro. Same here, bro. Same that's, the, that's the plan with me, brother. Same here, bro. Um, Look, what you did right. do, though, what you did do, though, talked about that cabin, though. You know, cabins is crazy. True. Cabin trips True. Is, is crazy. Um, you said you did it for wifey's it. birthday. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, but it was, and not to take away from it, but it was, um, it was, you know, it was in the same state. So, you know, well, tell me, I mean, you sound like you done, you got some experience. Uh, yeah, well, you do too. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've done a few. Um, they, they just fun, man. Um, Where have like you been? Said, uh, Where have you done them at? Um, so I've done a uh, VA, done a um, Carolina, mm -hmm. um, bro. They they crazy in Tennessee, bro. Tennessee, Tennessee got them. Yo, Tennessee got them, bro. Tennessee got them. Wow. T Tennessee is Tennessee is 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 yeah. Tennessee got it's some nice ones in Maryland too, and and uh, yeah, it's some nice ones you know all around, but. Tennessee got him, bro. Tennessee. I think it's some nice ones in Pennsylvania as well, but mm. 
Tennessee got, got them got them huge joints. Like gotcha. with pools inside and game rooms that you overlooking. How, how, how you feel about Christmas being on a Saturday? Um I don't know, because you, you kind of maybe want it during the week because it's a holiday, so it'll take away from a, uh, you know, with a weekend. It's a weekend anyway. Um, I, it's cool, you know. I guess now, you know, with it Christmas Eve and Friday, now you got to be in the house. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? So you can't, it's a Friday night where you can't really do nothing. Well, I mean, well, some people may, but, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm going to be in the, in the, in the house. Well, but, it's one of the things where you got it's observed, Christmas is observed on the Eve, so it's kind of like a different type of year with that. Right. Um, but yo, like we, you talked about the cabins um, <clears throat> and it's kind of thinking outside the box, like if money wasn't an issue, what would be like a different way that you would spend the holidays? You mean like a trip? Like um, Maybe. Or, or it know, could be an experience or something. Uh... I don't know, but I've never, I've never been somewhere warm for Christmas. I, I, I don't know. I don't know, like, if I... Yeah, Hawaii, but... Like... Yeah, I was about to say Hawaii would be, be dope. And I guess now of age, it ain't like I would have to lug a whole bunch of gifts over there. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I guess... It is fresh... the gift. Yeah, that, oh, it's going to be the gift. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be the gift. Um, and I guess it'll be interesting to see how they celebrate Christmas because it's warm over there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So just to see how they celebrate it over there, or you know, one of the islands over that. I guess I would I would be open to the idea. Just to say, you know, you did it one year, you spent Christmas somewhere different and somewhere warm. Uh yeah. Have you ever you ever done been somewhere no, warm? I never, I never did anything okay. warm. But I think if so, I had to, for me, I, um, yeah, ideally, what would you? I would, I would probably like maybe try to do like Colorado somewhere, like somewhere far really? away, somewhere that's different, um, but cold, and you know, like kind of right. like that cabin joint. That we cabin, yeah, 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 yeah. We we did it. We was like, man, we could do this again, but I wouldn't want to do it in Maryland. I would want like if I could go and, out. And, and and let me tell you what would really be the caveat. I have three sets of grandparents. Um, a couple that's been together for 60 years. Um, my grandmother in Boston, two grandmothers in Boston. Um, and for me, it's, man, you just think about the times and how, like, how many more you got, you know? And, you know, with the photography. Um, for sure. With the with the photography, it's kind of like just if I could just get that one capture, right, right. Like I I feel good, you know. I feel good, right, right. That's yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, bro. So would you you would you said you would like to do it, experience it like in a warmer climate one year, Christmas? I wouldn't mind switching up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What you think? You think you think wifey or the kids would would be open to that? Or I said that might be the difficulty with you because you might have to lug some gifts, <laughs> or they just open them when they get back or before y'all leave. That's how we doing that when they get right, back. <laughs> right? Okay. To come back to. Right, um, right. I think I think um, I think the the kids would definitely be up to it. I think my wife just for some of the stuff you mentioned the logistics. Right. It might be tough, but yeah. Um, so, yo, man, like I know earlier we were talking about um, you know, apparel, hoodie season, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, talk to us, man. What, what, what? Yeah, so uh, I actually, well, first, first, let me rewind, because I had a little event recently. You will know I, um, so I normally I'll have like, at least one for my birthday, and then I normally do something for Christmas. You know, two of my favorite days, two of my favorite occasions. Mm -hmm. um, and because of COVID, I didn't do anything for Christmas last year, and I decided to bring it back this year. Uh, so um, I had a little event this year uh, recently. 
um, because you know the cases, the numbers started going up. I had to scale it back, which was which was not an issue at all. Um, I, it wasn't going to be nothing huge anyway. Um, but just had a nice, nice little Christmas event, man. Um, nice setting, rooftop setting. Uh, I had a lot of my my closest friends and and biggest supporters come and uh, support me and support us, support the pod, support mm -hmm. all the good things I got going on in my life right now. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a wonderful time. So, so yeah, man. And, um, you know, normally I hand out gifts to all the ladies there. Uh, so I did that again this year. Um, and this year, I included this, one of the gifts that I get, which was for everybody there, which is one of these. Oh, oh right. shoot. Right, right. Oh, yeah, shoot. yeah, 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 yeah. So see, he been wearing them the whole time. But if y'all can see, a little clear in the air, podcast, rubber band. Look, and I wasn't trying to be funny. I just, you know, you grab I know, I know, I know. With the, with the CTH on the back. So as you can see, I got mine on too. Um, yeah, so everybody in attendance got these. And uh, yeah, man, it was just something I kind of wanted to do. It was an idea I came up with, uh, you know, slid it by you, and you was down with it. And uh, I just moved forward. It's just, you know, something a little small, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But it's definitely, you know, get the word out. People were excited about it. They was wearing them. They sent me pictures of them wearing it. Um, so, so yeah, man. Um, so, you know, I have these. Uh, I got a few, few left. So if y'all want one, holler at me. Y'all know how to get at me. Um, and yeah, I can get it to you. I, I'll mail it to you if you want one. Uh -oh. um, definitely for our supporters, though. You know what I mean? So if you want one, definitely subscribe. And, uh, you know, just support us. Give us some feedback. Give us maybe some ideas of what y'all want to hear, what y'all want to hear, hear us talk about, things like that. And so, I, yeah, like, but I it, like that segue, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's definitely just the first of something big stuff that we got coming down the, the pipeline. And um, also, I just want to say thank you for everybody that came to the event. Uh, the ladies was looking really good. Uh, Y'all read. Uh, shout out to my, my fellas, my homies that came. Oh, man, my, 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 my homie from the NFL came. Um, Super Bowl champion. Uh, now he's a, a football coach, but he always been family. Mm. Um, he came through, which was super dope. So I'm glad he came through. I had some of my closest friends, my brothers from another. Um, some of my closest female friends was there. Um, it was just a good time, man. It was just a good time. We just had a good night, you know, small group, and we just had fun, man. It was, it was just, it's just a good time, brother. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Well, listen, he kind of alluded to some things. Um, you know, we do have a lot of things coming down the pipeline in 2022, so we're really excited about season two. Um, yeah, yeah, we starting off starting off the year with a bang, bro. We, well, we ending the year with a bang. That we starting off, we going heavy with it. Uh, 2022. So. Definitely, definitely. And so, yeah. you know, we we we've talked about, you know. D mentioned how, you know, has this season is not really about the gifts. Right. Um, you know, so, you know, you know I, I know that's how myself, my wife, we are. We we love to give gifts. Mm -hmm. D, like I said, you alluded to it earlier, but um, I can tell you the one gift that clear in the air would like. <laughs> um, we, we love for your continued support um, right. in all seriousness. Uh, one of the things that I want to mention, speaking of your support, um, shout out to everybody, man, who follows us on the various platforms. Um, right. you've, you've helped yeah. us to reach a um, hundred subscribers yeah. on YouTube. Yeah. Um, you know, actually we reached a hundred subscribers early December. Yeah. And then, yep. and then the event, bro, you know, if you're doing this, yeah. Yeah. you know, really, yeah, yeah, really yeah, turned yeah. us we're up to like a hundred and, 
twenty four ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah one twenty four. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll be at one thirty, then one fifty, two hundred in no time. So yeah. So we just want to yeah. again shout out you guys again. Right. Um, we are <clears> on <throat> YouTube. We're mm -hmm. on Instagram. Mm -hmm. We are on uh, TikTok. Never mm -hmm. thought I'd be on there, but we're on TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're on Facebook. We've got a group yeah. there. Spotify, and we're looking to come uh, to Apple real soon. So, yeah. again, your continued support. All we want for Christmas is it you. Is, <laughs> you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, as we, as we clear the air, men, on a serious note. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, yeah. one thing to, to, to recognize, um, I actually, while I was traveling, I hit D up because, you know, I came across a situation that was actually in Maryland that was very, mm -hmm. very tragic, man. Mm -hmm. Had a young man who um, had children. And we're not going to get into it because we're going to talk about this at a later date. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, he performed a violent act. Mm -hmm. He was on his way to do another one mm -hmm. before doing the violent act with himself but he he recorded not the the not the actual acts but he he was kind of like giving commentary documentary right. and one of the things that he said was i don't have anybody during the holidays um and i think that's a big deal so he know, had just, he had children yes and he was not able to see his his kids during the holiday season yeah so yeah. And so when you look at like loss, whether you're talking about COVID, whether you're talking about pre-COVID, you know, people deal with things in ways that are very tough. And men, I just want to encourage you as us being leaders of our families, um, you know, listen, man, if we got stuff going on, find somebody to talk to, mm -hmm. find somebody to, 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 you know, I mean, shoot, if, if clearing the air has to be that, bro, mm -hmm. um, yo, we got an email, mm -hmm. um, you know, um, that's that's you can find that in, in the bio on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You can find it on the YouTube. Like you can find mm -hmm. it. Yo, you can comment on mm -hmm. YouTube. You know, I'm not I'm not saying that to, to, to try to get engagement, but I'm but I am trying to get engagement. If you're going through things, you know, you know, even if we got to be resources to you to get help, or, you know, just be an ear, whatever it is. Um, man, don't fight nothing alone because it's when we feel like we're fighting stuff alone during the holidays that. Stuff really gets bad. So listen, mm -hmm. um, as we clear the air, man, we just want to encourage you fellas, encourage all of us. I know this is a men's paint podcast, so right, right. It's um that situation was very unfortunate, very tragic, man. And we know, uh, we personally know some people that around the holidays struggle because they've suffered a loss. You know, you think about holiday times being happy and family, and but for some people, it's it's not. It's not a, actually a time of year that they look forward to. So we want to say that we're here. You know what I'm saying? Please reach out. Um, all my peoples know they can talk to me about anything. Uh, I know you the same way. You know, that's how we kind of came together because we talked about different things. Um, and so, yeah, man, we just, you know, don't think, it, don't think it's a sign of weakness. You know what I mean? Um, you know, that's what this platform is here for. And and, I'll, and the ladies too. Y'all need somebody to talk to. Y'all can talk to us. Reach out. You know what I mean. We we not. We just no 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 discrimination here. Yes, we are. You know, trying to you know cater to the men and have men to talk. But we would be nothing without y'all. So right. we definitely want y'all. If y'all if y'all need that resource and talk to us, and we're not perfect. We don't have it all together. But you know, we can help each other. Right. So you know what I mean. Just you know, right. simply reach out. Continue to give us that. That, that you know that feedback or whatever y'all think we should talk about and uh yeah yeah man All right. well yo man i think we've cleared the air um <clears> and <throat> we just want to say merry christmas and a happy new year to all of y'all out there and again we thank y'all for your continued success um hey yeah be with, be with us as we're growing because we're trying to grow we look yeah, to man. see you as part of that growth yep thank you uh, thank you for the support again. Thank you, everybody that came to my event. Uh, I appreciate it. I really do. Um, and yeah, man. Merry Christmas and uh, Happy New Year. We'll see y'all 2022. 2022.
Peace. Peace. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas.